If you have a physical location where you want clients and customers to come and find you, then you definitely need to be using location assets, formerly known as location extensions for your Google ads. But there's actually a giant step you have to take that has very little, if anything, to do with Google ads. More on that in a moment. Timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including a link to our Google Ads playbook to help you with optimizing your campaigns, lowering those cost per clicks, and boosting those conversions. Now, when it comes to location assets, as you can see with this example, all it does is add a clickable link to over to Google Maps where someone can actually show up to your physical location. And to actually set this up, it has nothing to do with Google Ads. You need to set up something called a Google business profile so that you show up there. Now, you might actually be able to find your business, although there's like a one in a hundred chance that actually works. So you want to head over to this site and start the process of setting up your Google My Business profile or Google Business Profile or whatever they're calling it now because they keep changing the name. And you can tell I get frustrated sometimes when Google changes names of stuff constantly. And what you'll want to do is wait for them to send you a postcard. Yes. Google is going to physically mail you something because they wanna make sure that whatever location you say you're at, you are actually at that location. And so once you get that, you'll be able to enter a special code, you'll get your business profile, and then you can jump back over to Google Ads and set up your location, which is what we'll do now. So inside of Google Ads, of course, we are under Ads and Assets, Assets, and then we'll go ahead and click the blue plus button, and I'll go ahead and select Location. And then this dialog box will pop up. If you already have a Google My Business Profile, it's going to be super easy. If you don't and you want to see if Google already has found your business by some miracle, then you can go ahead and click on Select Curated, oh no, Curated, Curated Locations and click on whatever country your business is in. And then you can go ahead and search for it. For the most part though, these seem completely random. And as you can see here, like and other stories or and pizza, cloud smoke and vape co, a zip line tour, one hotel. These are very, very random. So the chances of your business actually being on this list is quite small. If you had someone set it up in the past or you're not sure who has access to your Google business profile, you can actually drop in your domain and try and find that email here and have it sent to you or figure out who you need to talk to to get access to it. Otherwise, you'll want to come back over here to link your account and you can click to manage your business profile here. You'll go over to this same website and page. If you don't already have a Google business profile, this is where you can set one up for free get that postcard. Yes, it's an involved process, but it's definitely worth it because most businesses don't bother to do this. There are a lot of businesses on Google Maps that have actually never claimed their profile. So you can go ahead and get that set up. And then I'll just jump back over here and show you a preview again, that this is what it will look like. And optionally, you can also have your phone number added to it. And this is essentially just gonna make it very easy for people to like search a hotel, local pizza joint or whatever they're looking for. Your ad pops up, they can click on the location. And just like that, they're using whatever navigation they want to, to find you and your physical location. And so if you wanna check out your locations, that you can always click under here. As of the time I'm recording this, it's under legacy. Hopefully by the time you see it, it's on this top list. Google's always changing stuff and your locations will be here. And of course you can go through uh, changing which locations you have, especially if you have multiple ones, you can use something called affiliate locations as well. And with that, you're all set, good to go with locations. Yes, it is a very time consuming process, mostly just waiting on Google to send you that postcard. So hit that like button and subscribe for more marketing guides just like this one. And make sure you check out the link in the cards in the description to the Google Ads playbook to help you get up and running with the rest of everything you have to set up with your campaigns, including a detailed audit of how to actually go through optimizing so you can reduce those cost per clicks and boost those conversions. So until the next, keep building the business you love. Thank you.